of modern Japanese warriors about to do battle. But tonight, words and emotions are their weapons as they prepare to relive the last days of the war. <laughs> the play is called Winds of God, the English meaning of kamikaze. It's the story of two knockabout comedians suddenly transported back 50 years to their former lives as kamikaze pilots. Before turning to the stage, Masayuki Imai himself served in Japan's self-defense forces, an experience which taught him just how unreal an image his civilian compatriots have of things military. Because of the odium of the past, Japan's armed forces remain strictly for self-defense. Though there are signs of a new confidence stirring within the SDF and a growing public acceptance. At the Kotemba ground forces base near Mount Fuji, soldiers like Corporal Hiroshi Takahashi reflect the changing mood. <laughs> Corporal Takahashi spent four years laying plumbing in civilian life before switching to the SDF. His colleague, Nobuyuki Moramatsu, joined straight from high school. Both men are on a three-month course for promotion to sergeant. Japan has nearly a quarter of a million people in uniform, all of them volunteers. While that's not a large enlistment relative to population, the nation's defense budget of $70 billion ranks among the world's biggest. Two-thirds are spent on wages and benefits, one-third on hardware. Today's training is to develop the skills of a squad leader, and for this run, Corporal Takahashi is in command. The enemy is up ahead about 500 metres and well hidden positions and this squad is making a full frontal assault. The kind of combat exercise the Japanese army has taken pride in for centuries because of its directness of approach, its capacity to terrify the enemy and its requirement of the highest level of bravery. The precision movement and seriousness of purpose are impressive. They haven't fired a shot in anger for half a century. But for these soldiers, Japanese Bushido, the way of the warrior, is not a lost ideal. When you were growing up, who were your military heroes? I Is the spirit of Bushido still alive in the modern Japanese military? So what does this mean for you? But would that ever again amount to the never surrender fanaticism of the kamikaze? Japanese 
やはり最後まで戦い抜いて生きて帰るってことを念頭に置いて戦うと思います。An answer a bit like the field rations these days. Rice and hamburger. Take your pick. No longer do Japanese women stay at home and leave the soldiering all to the men. Takako Hanawa is 21, three years in the army and training as an NCO. She's one of 9,000 women in the self-defense forces. So, in that case, the force is a lot of possibilities for the force. The force is a lot of possibilities for the force. The force is a lot of possibilities for the force. 選んで行ける道じゃないかなと思ったんで入りました。What do your friends say about it? 本当に入ってるのとか言われて、何してんのとかいつも銃持ってんのとか言われるんですけど、私は普通の仕事とそんなに変わらないところなんで、普通にやってるとかはいいんです。強襲射撃、立志から値打ち、二十七秒五発。Tomorrow they go to the range for assessment. But today they have to provide their own sound effects. Do you think you'll ever have to use that weapon in actual combat? But would you be able to? While still few in number, these female SDF members play a vital role in selling a fresh image of the military to the Japanese public. An army as cute and easygoing as this can't be half bad. The marketing campaign is taken to extraordinary lengths. Meet the SDF's official mascots, Prince Pickles and Miss Parsley. Enjoy their comic adventures, in which absolutely nobody gets hurt. For mature tastes, there's SDF Ladies, a hot-selling magazine which got defense agency approval after the publisher dropped the idea of having them pose in the nude. Outside of the people who see it, the women are doing it, and it's a little bit of a soft way. They can understand the other side of the world, and they can understand the other side. 男の人ばっかりだとあもう硬硬いっていうかもうガチガチしてるっていう感じがするんですけど。Heaven forbid anyone should think life in the military is hard and coarse. Episode recently did more than all the publicity hype to gain the SDF new respect. The relief work they performed in earthquake-devastated Kobe. Their initial slow response now blamed on politicians. After Kobe, a law was passed allowing the military to attend future disasters without having to wait for a civilian request. Rebuilding trust at home and also overseas. These cadets at the School of Engineers are learning skills they may later have to apply far from home during United Nations peacekeeping operations. This is the kind of military force that Japan wants to share with the world again. An army of bridge builders, road engineers, medicos and communications experts. A high-tech, low-threat army. A kind of jungle green version of the Japanese construction industry. Lieutenant Colonel Hirofumi Yusa was part of the PKO battalion Japan sent to Cambodia three years ago. 
as good in that job, presumably, as he is now in public relations. But uh, ground self-defense force is not uh, ancient army, you know? You're a new army. Yeah, you are, um, we are new defense force, self-defense force. To preserve that limited role, Japanese troops serving with the UN carry no offensive weapons. Indeed, have to be guarded by the soldiers of other nations. As well as Cambodia, the SDF have worn the UN's Blue Beret in Mozambique and Rwanda, and they may soon be heading off to the Golan Heights. In this PKO Hall of Honor, recently returned veterans proudly show off their service ribbons. Did you feel you were in danger at any time? The souvenirs of the SDF's good deeds abroad are collected with typical Japanese thoroughness, right down to a couple of airline seats. The days of soldiering without a mission are over. Military lines of engagement again cross the globe. While they put on a good show, it remains the case that Japan's military have neither the firepower nor the mandate for any dramatic new projection of power outside these shores. Some even doubt their capacity to defend their own country were the United States to remove its military presence here, particularly the nuclear umbrella. But neither is that in prospect. Somewhere under all this humanity, are weapons of mass destruction. Can't, uh, jump. The children can play because nobody imagines these things will ever have to be used. Yet on this 50th anniversary of defeat, I do detect a subtle but important change of mood. Both at a political and a public level, the self-defense forces have finally obtained legitimacy. Interest in joining up is increasing, partly because jobs are getting scarce in a stagnant economy, partly because the allure of powerful machines is unspoilt for this generation by the sufferings of war. Patriotism is not quite the dirty word it was, and whether through plays or open days, its implications are being explored again. At the end of their day, charging up and down a hill, Corporals Takahashi and Muramatsu work at cleaning off some of the grime. It is, after all, a dirty job. Finally, what do these modern-day soldiers of the sun say to those who fear the possibility of a resurgent Japan? <laughs> その逆に言えば戦争のこと、戦争っていうのは反対もしますし。昔の軍国主義ですか?に比べれば本当にこう民主的っていうかもう大変一人一人の意見も尊重されるようなそこが違いだと思うんですけど。there are those, both in Japan and among its neighbors, who wonder how long this restraint will last. However, while peace permits, it seems we may rest easy that for these armed forces, the safety catch is still switched on.